Hi everyone! So I've got for you today my Roll It Out series. This is for myofascial release. Here I am starting with the glute. This can be quite intense depending on where you get at it. I'm leaning a little bit to the right. I've got a leg over for support and I'm rolling along that gluteal muscle. Moving on to the hamstring. Again, my one leg is down for support. I'm lifting up and I'm rolling out the hamstring. Myofascial release is the release of the connective tissues that surround all of your muscles. Here's a little bit of what is called cross friction, so you go a little side to side when you find a spot that is particularly intense. You want to keep breathing the whole time as hard as it may be in certain spots, but the breath will really help to create circulation in those areas. Moving on to a quad roll. Now I probably should have done it with the other leg so you could see exactly where I'm rolling, but I've got again one leg out for support. I'm using my arms and lifting my leg to help the rolling process. Quad rolling can be really, really intense, so as you can see by my face, it's brutal. I like to go through smaller bits, so I started up near the hip a little bit on the top of my quad and now I'm rolling a little bit down closer to my knee. Never roll onto any joint, so don't roll on the knee, stay in the meat of the muscle. Moving on, I've got it now under the base of my skull. There's two little nodules that are right there. It's where all your nerves and connective tissue to your optical nerves all there so rolling it out in that area can feel really relaxing and nice especially if you have any tension headaches I quite like that just a little side to side letting the bumps of my bolster get out the knots and now moving into some back rolling you can take much longer than I'm doing in each of these positions I just wanted to give you a good idea of how to roll out different parts of your body so here I am again, not rolling onto the neck bone at the base of the skull, or at the base of the neck, but I am rolling along the muscles of my shoulder blades. You can roll a little side to side, a little to the right, a little to the left, as you can with all of the other exercises. And then to finish here, I'm just going over the bolster for a nice easy stretch. Again, inhaling and exhaling to create even bigger release. I hope you enjoy all of these release techniques that I've shown you today and that you can find a little bit of relief as well. It's a great addition to add to your workout routine to create better movement of the muscles themselves. I love mine and I hope you love it too. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week. Bye!